Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to create the steel bracket in FreeCAD sheet metal workbench. So let's open the FreeCAD and uh, we will be working with part workbench and sketcher. And the last one will be the sheet metal workbench. So let's go to the sketcher and choose this XZ plan and create the sketch to the sketch on XZ plan. We will create the knot thickness um, sketch draft of our steel bracket. So let's create the initial lines for this. It will be two lines and one circle. And make for these two lines the field operation. It will create the another circles. Okay, let's make the some correction the position and now let's just set for these lines set the lenses. Let's set this all dimensions for our 2D sketch. Okay, let's choose one line, set the lens, but uh, we can before choose the dimension setter and choose the points or lines it will set the dimensions for our sketch okay let's um, set the dimensions for these two circles we can choose both and set the radiuses together for these two circles and last one will be this external toggle let's just choose it and set the radius okay and now we can see that our sketcher is green color and it means that we to set we set it all dimensions okay it's fully connected sketch meaning so let's make the correction for our dimensions here set 30 millimeters for lens lines will be 30 75 50 okay and after that let's close the sketch and choose this sketch and go to the part workbench and for the sketch let's make the extrusion operation here you can see the direction it will be minus y and let's set the extrusion lens okay let's make the correction for this extrusion lens it will be 40 millimeters extrusion okay and now let's make uh, the solid from the surface make this 3d offset it will make the some thickness thickness one millimeters and activates the fill offset it means that we will create the solid from our surface okay let's uh, choose the surface and for the surface let's create the sketch let's activate the sketcher workbench choose the surface and create the flat face sketch click ok and now we can to create the 2d sketch on our surface let's create the circle it will be two holes on our steel bracket let's set the radius for this and last one will be the position of center the so toggle the horizontal position it will be the half of all size of lens of steel bracket center of steel bracket and let's set the vertical position if it will be 15 millimeters okay for this sketcher let's go to the part workbench again you can find it here and let's make the extrusion for circle let's set some bigger lens in x direction so uh, we have to reverse this direction and we can just to set minus before our dimensions okay let's choose the offset and extrusion our cylinder and make the boolean cut operation for this uh, but you can see that we have the surface 
I think it's just visible. Let's hide it and let's again repeat the cut operation. So now we have the hided uh, extrusion. Okay, let's make the refine true. It will merge some edges on our solid. It performs some correction for our geometry. It's a good stuff. Okay, let's go to the sketcher again and choose the XY plan. And for this XY plan, let's create the rectangle. It will be okay. Um, let's set the length of this rectangle and position for this rectangle. Initially, let's set 15 millimeters and let's choose these two points. Set the vertical dimension, it will be something like 10 millimeters. Okay, let's click top and let's try to find the center of this rectangle on the our still bracket lens. Okay, let's set the 20 millimeters here and set the 10 millimeters and now we have the center position for this hole. On our still bracket let's um, make the translation this change the position for this sketcher and up okay set the Z in that direction set the 65 millimeters okay after that let's go to the part workbench and let's create the box from this sketch sketcher okay let's set in that direction some bigger dimension 100 millimeters and now we can to repeat the cut operation let's choose this cut and extrusion the our box now we have finished to create this steel bracket model and the last one will be the step where we will make the unfold from sheet metal workbench let's go to the sheet metal workbench choose this surface and now uh, for the surface we can to make the unfold body let's set the default settings and you can hide the steel brackets using the space button on keyboard and um, you can see the unfold 3d model and just hide it and go to the sketcher you here you can find the all uh, dimensions for this unfold body okay you can use it for sheet metal okay and uh, we have finished to create this read models thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye